Reflex AI Assistant uses GPT-4. It's the same technology that OpenAI is currently using in ChatGPT+, which, if you've played around with, you'll know is extremely valuable. Reflex AI Assistant works in a very similar way, but it is a little bit different in the interaction because it's a chatbot. It's a palette editor. But we can write some custom prompts that will allow us to interact with our notes in somewhat of a similar way to ChatGPT. So I'm going to take you through a brief walkthrough of how to set those up. So here I have a hypothetical article that I maybe want to create an outline for. How to use AI to take better notes. This first point here is a question that let's say I want answered from my line. Now I can select the AI assistant and say, answer this question. But you can see it's just going to spit the question back out at me. It's actually going to answer it. So instead, what we are going to do is pull up a similar prompt. So for answer the question, let's say maybe a short summary is closest. You could select any of these and edit them, but the more similar the prompt you choose to what you want, the less editing you're going to have to do. So if I pull this up here, the answer is not that valuable, but what we want is the prompt itself. So I'm going to start by cloning. it, And because I already have a prompt that says answer the question that I've been using, I'm going to call this one answer the question I'm asking just so that I can tell the part. And then what you're going to do is customize the text here to match the prompt. So I don't want it to summarize. Instead, I want it to answer the question within the text in triple quotes, but keep it concise. And let's say answer using plain and simple language. Keep the same tense. And then down below here, do not return anything other than the answer. Do not wrap responses in quotes. All right. So let's save that. And let's pull up our new prompt. Answer the question I'm asking. All right, perfect. So there you can see that it has, in fact, this time answered the question. Now, if you want, you can add more parameters to it. So maybe one sentence isn't enough. So please answer using three to five sentences. Update the template. And when you run it again, you can see that now it will answer it using three to five sentences instead of the one original sentence. And you can customize this however you want. It's useful to run it a few times, see how the response is. If it's something you like, great, keep it, or just keep editing it if it's not quite there. All right, and there's a lot more things you can do with this too. So one of the other examples that I was using in my writing, this one's not a question. This one, I'm looking for a comprehensive list of things that large language model tool like GPT can do specifically for note taking. So I'm not asking it what they can do. I'm asking it to give me a list of what they can do. And I could theoretically turn this into a question and use the same prompt, but the answer wouldn't be that great. So instead, you can see here, I have built a separate one that says execute. command, And you can see if I run that, it gives me a nice, beautiful, clean list of things that I want. And if I pull up the prompt I've written for this, instead of having it just answer the question, I'm asking it to execute the command. And again, the triple quotes here, that's just your input. So no matter what prompt you're doing, you can always leave this middle part. And the rest of it is just the parameters. So here, I said do not include any language from the prompt, like the text in triple quotes, or in plain and simple language. That's in a lot of the pre-built prompts because the AI can add a lot of fluff language that's actually that helpful. And then again, do not return anything else, all of that good stuff. So very similar prompt, but it does execute in a different way because I'm not asking it to answer a question. I'm asking it to execute the command. And you can see the result here is pretty good. So if I want this, I can just insert it and have this list for my article. So you can use this for anything. You could use it for article outlines like I am here. I think it's a very useful prompt just to have set up in your notes that you can pull on at any time. And again, it, it kind of lets you use the Reflect AI assistant in a similar way to ChatGPT, where you can actually type things in, you can ask things and have it actually execute specific requests. If you want to use these prompts, I will include them in the description of the video so that you can just copy and paste. I do think they're very useful to have on a regular basis to pull up.